Hey, what's going on guys? Steve with uh, Fly Fly Drones here. Uh, we got another one we're going to look at, the new Dumbledore version 3 tool dropped. We're going to look at kind of an overview of that as well as uh, some of the features. Uh, this is some of the stuff that's new in V3. Uh, basically, uh, Jazab completely rewrote the tool. Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's got a lot of uh, checks and different things in there. So just want to give him a, a, a call out. Did a great job on the tool. Um, so let's get started here. Go ahead and download the new version of the tool. Go to GitHub. The uh, link will be in comments. Uh, do that in a web browser, Chrome, IE, Firefox, whatever is your preference. Uh, load up the website. Go to the Releases tab. From there, find the zip file. Click on that, and we're going to go ahead and download it. Once we've got that file downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open it up uh, using WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever your, uh, your file extraction tool of choice is. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, extract it to the desktop. We're recording here, and you can see a folder show up on the desktop top left of there. So if you open that up, uh, we'll just have one executable. Before we open the tool, uh, close Assistant, connect your aircraft, and power it on. Uh, if Windows or Antivirus prompts you, just allow that file to run. Uh, and before we actually get to the flash, we're going to take a quick look at a couple functions. Um, just kind of go through the different buttons in the tool so you guys can get familiar with it. Uh, so the first is load firmware. Basically, that just opens up the, uh, the the file explorer and allows you to pick the firmware that you want to, to flash with. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, make sure you pick whatever the right one is. Uh, unlock device allows you to unlock a device. Uh, hit that button there. It'll say on the bottom, flight controller unlocked and you're good to go. The, uh, the next one is activate device. For select aircraft, you can do an offline activation. I hit that button and then down at the bottom, if it works, it should say device activated. Okay, the next one is really cool. It's called pull upgrade log. Basically, it allows you to copy the, uh, the upgrade logs from the aircraft over to your computer if for some reason you want to look at them. Maybe the upgrade failed, you want to get in there and take a look at it. Uh, one of the really cool things that uh, that he put in the tool here is not only does it copy them out, it converts them to plain text. So you can open it up pretty easily in Notepad++ or something and uh, look for particular things. Okay, about, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you really can't screw this up. Uh, it's credits, uh, shows a version. There's a donate button. Hey, send some money over to uh, to Jazab. He did a great job on the tool, you guys. Um, you know, props to all the people that helped uh, do all the testing and, and put it together as well. Uh, flash firmware. So we're going to go ahead and do a flash. We're going to roll back from uh, the 104, 100 to the 700. Um, it's going to basically break the anti-rollback tech that's in there. Um, after that's done, you might need to flash a second time. After the first one, you're going to want to check the version. If it shows a minus sign or if it's still on the same version, you're going to want to redo it. Uh, and then the second one will, will take care of things and you won't have to worry about it again. So go ahead and uh, close Assistant, connect your aircraft, and then open up the tool. Hit load firmware and go ahead and navigate to wherever you got that firmware file. I'm going to go ahead and pick from my Mavic the 103-700 and hit flash firmware. Uh, what this does, uh, it breaks, I'm going to break it down to a couple steps. So first it does the, the defeating of the anti-rollback. Uh, this video uh, is in real time, so I'll show you how long it took for me to actually do it. Um, so this goes in two steps, or two stages. Um, each of them should take just a minute or two. This is actually um, really easy and straightforward. If the firmware that you have doesn't need this, the tool's going to ignore it. It'll actually skip it. So it's really cool. It's got some uh, some smarts or some intelligence built into it. Uh, so again, this goes in, in two stages. You'll see here we're on uh, stage one of two. When this is done, uh, it'll it'll move over to stage two. If you're looking at your aircraft, you're going to probably notice that the the LEDs on the arms they're going to flash on off on off, uh, just as it would during a regular firmware update. That's all very normal. Just leave it on during this. Don't power it off. Don't muck around with it. Just let it do its thing. Okay, so it looks like the uh, the anti rollback is done. I've sped up the firmware update uh, a lot so it goes quickly. Um, what you saw there is it copied the file over, initiated the firmware update, and it's going. So if you'll see here, it's going along pretty well. Uh, on my particular one, it finished when it hit 82%. Uh, so for me, that's a sign that we needed a second flash. And so once it finished and it said done, I had observed that it had finished at 
um, 82%, then we're gonna start it again. Uh, if for some reason you see that it goes all the way and the version does change, you don't need to flash it a second time. Uh, this only usually happens when you're going from much higher versions down to much lower versions where you gotta do it two times. So I'll just go ahead and close it, open the tool up again here, and uh, we'll load another firmware, and we'll go ahead and do a flash again. This one I, uh, I sped up as well. This update should go a lot faster. Uh, it's just gonna take care of the other modules that need to be updated. Um, and so it should go pretty quick. Again, I sped this up. It's not gonna go as fast as in the video, and then it's done. So go ahead and uh, power down, close Dumbledore, and then power back on, and then reopen it, and then let's verify the version. This is the thing I love about this tool is it shows the firmware version right there, and boom, you're on 103.0700, which is the one that you want. So now you can uh, open Assistant 112 and modify it as you want. If for some reason your aircraft doesn't show an assistant, make sure you close the tool first, and you should be good. Now, if you guys want more information, check out our DJI Modding Lounge over Facebook or visit the OGs in Slack. Take care, guys.